All right, let's watch this clip. This is the uncensored version from Japan. Let's see what happened. <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, bro, he actually hit him. You can hear it. <laughs> he actually hit him. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. The Wow, Damn. dude. It was a G.I. Jane joke. G.I. Jane no joke that done this. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. Damn. That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Yo, Chris Rock is stunned. He's fucking stunned, bro. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out. Dude, I can't believe Chris Rock was able to just keep going. Why is there Japanese translation? I'm going to tell you why there's Japanese translation. Because after Will Smith hit him, they cut on the English broadcast. They cut out. So this is all you saw in the English broadcast. It went <laughs> bang and then it cut. But the Japanese broadcast, they're about that, they're about that smoke. <laughs> Yo, my man, my man didn't just slap him. He put his weight into it, too. He had his left hand cocked up. He had his left hand cocked up. He changed his weight. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> that, dude, dude, he said that so casually that the audience didn't know. He said that so casually. Listen to the audience. They all laugh. And then this happens, and then everybody realizes, oh, shit. That, dude, look. Everybody's like, oh, fuck. That wasn't planned. Oh, fuck. That wasn't a bit. Wow, dude. And he goes, wow, dude. It was a G.I. What was the joke? It was a G.I. Jane joke? Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> oh, she, she did not like that joke either. She did not. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> and then he walks up. <laughs> Bang! He went on stage and slapped Chris Rock over a, a bald-headed joke? Jada has alopecia? What? Bro, I never knew that. She has alopecia that was diagnosed in 2018? It's fake? Oh yeah, wow. What? Cool. No, there's no way. Dude, first of all, listen. If, if it's fake... If it's fake, it's one of the best fakes of all time. Because first of all, close your eyes and listen. Listen. <laughs> you can hear that. Stage punch, Will, you dummy. Uh, I think everybody who's saying that, um, first of all, stage punch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I only have a master's degree in film and have been making film my whole life. I know what a fucking stage punch is. Secondly, this is what makes me think that it wasn't planned. This reaction. Oh, I could, oh okay. You did. Daniel Day Lewis couldn't give this performance of man who had just been surprisingly slapped the shit out of. Oh, I could, oh okay. That was a greatest night. I saw him in Saw. Okay, I saw Chris Rock in Saw. He's a funny guy, but he's no Daniel Day Lewis. This is the greatest performance he's ever given in his life. If this is fake, the slap was fake. No, it wasn't, dude. You, some of you are on some deep fucking Kardashian, Kanye, black ops, crazy fucking social media plant bullshit. You think Will Smith needs to drum up fucking controversy? No, he's got real talent. If a Kardashian, if Rob Kardashian went up there and slapped Chris Rock, I'd go, okay, that was fake. They need to do that for the numbers. It's Will fucking Smith, man. He's one of the most.
most talented actors of all time up for up for a best actor nomination. You think he's going to sully his moment to slap the shit out of Chris Rock to drum up social media attention? You're dreaming. You're you're unhinged. This isn't the first time Chris Rock is or uh, uh, Will Smith has slapped the shit out of someone. Remember when that one Italian reporter <laughs> gave him the bees and he slapped the shit out of him? <laughs> there you go. He slaps the shit out of him too. Will Smith is slapping people. During the commercial break, Will Smith is pulled aside and confronted by Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry. Dude, Black Hollywood pulled him aside and said, Will, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Yo, he just got the, the, the talking to from Black Hollywood. Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry, who motioned for him to brush it off. Will appears to wipe tears from his eyes and sits back down with Jada, with Denzel confronting Jada and Will's rep by his side. What in the fuck? Bro, yeah, like when Denzel pulls you aside, you have fucked up. <laughs> when Denzel's giving you a talk, dude, I would cry if Denzel pulled me aside. If Denzel pulled me aside, I would immediately start sobbing. Uncontrollable tears. Dude, this is not fake. You, I'm telling you, if, 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 are, if there are any of those of you that are still on the team fake, this totally validates it for me. I'm a star. When Tyler Perry and Denzel Washington Anyone. give you the you, Black Hollywood talk, oh, that shit is real as fuck. Cases. Someone said that Stephen A. Smith gave a take. If Will Smith seriously did that and wins the Oscar, Hope he just... Dream is going great tonight. Stained the greatest moment of his career. You cannot do that shit, especially as a black man. In that position to another black man on that stage. If that was not a joke, Will Smith won't live this down. Bro, that's what I told you. Yo, he got the black Hollywood talk. Bro, he got the black Hollywood talk. What's the black Hollywood talk? Um, it's, it's the thing that Dave Chappelle... I know people have very fucking intense feelings about Dave Chappelle. He used to talk about where like black, like like we're black actors, man. We're black actors. Where, like where he talks about it um, with uh, oh my god, who's the comedian on whose line is it anyway? Um, help me out. Who's who is the guy on uh, Wayne Brady? Where he, where he's like you know, there's kind of like a, a fraternity of you know. Black Hollywood that sticks together because they have been so underrepresented and, and victimized by the industry. So it's kind of like a, a, a pull aside where it's like, damn, you know, you just slap the shit out of Chris Rock. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, he just tweeted, Welp? Don't take no shit from anyone. This wouldn't have happened in QB well, ran the Oscars. I'm sorry if you're offended. Hopefully, if anyone remembers at the end of the show, is this is inappropriate, upbeat, in what? Gonna keep tweeting though. Gonna keep tweeting through it. Oh, he's embarrassed already. Wait, is this a, is this Will Smith? This isn't Will Smith. Oh, that's for a cool. Who linked me? This guy. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh yeah, wow, that's for a cool. Who is this other ass Will Smith? Topic. Wait, is this actually Will Smith? Stop. No, this isn't Will Smith either. Guys, what the fuck? 18,000 followers? This is not Will Smith. What? Stop linking me the wrong Will Smith. Will Smith only has 18,000 followers? You're fucking high. For cool. Six-year-old grudge? Oh, yeah, well, from Chris Rock's cool. Oscar see. monologue in 2016, Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. <laughs> Shit! All right, that's actually a good joke, though. That's 
That's actually a good joke. That's pretty funny. The G.I. Jane one wasn't that funny. That's a good joke. It's kind of a roast. That's kind of how the host at the Oscars have done it for a while, though. I, I can see where the joke is kind of in poor taste, but the Oscars have really, they've been taking the piss out of people for a long time at the Oscars. Damn. I mean, that's a moment, bro. But if you think that warrants going up and slapping the shit out of someone while they're hosting, I, just, we get, I guess we just fundamentally disagree. You can go out afterward and say that it was a really shitty joke and drag him on social media, but I just fundamentally disagree. I don't think violence is ever the answer. Go win the award and during your speech go, hey, Chris Rock, what a fucking terrible joke. It sucks because only four men have ever won, four, only four black men have ever won Best Actor at the Academy Awards. And the Academy sucks. The Academy sucks, man. And too often, those awards are not given for an individual performance, especially Best Actor. They're given for a, a lifetime of good performances. You have to basically beat the Academy to their knees till they're like, all right, let's give them a fucking award. And it sucks because Will Smith absolutely deserves this award. He has a lifetime of incredible performances. He has been a consummate professional in Hollywood since he was in his fucking 20s. Man, we're talking about a lifetime of professionalism. And right before his biggest moment, someone makes a joke in poor taste. Oh, wow, that's for a cool. And, and, and I'm not going to back down for that. Even though I don't think the joke was the most nefarious joke I've ever heard or the most damaging joke I've ever heard, it was a joke in poor taste, right? A, 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 a black woman recently coming down with alopecia, her hair falling out. She's embracing the hair falling out. She shows up with the bald head. Obviously, this is a, this is a, a moment of bravery for her, right? Four years ago, that's recent. What the fuck? That's one pr presidential cycle, man. You think you, think you would get used to, to your hair falling out in four years? I got friends who, are, who have been bald for the last 20 who are still not over it. Getting hair plugs at fucking 60. You know what I mean? So let's, let's chill for a second. That's recent. She shows up to the Oscars with a shaved head. That's a brave moment. Let's not try and glean what the man's oh, yeah, wow. That's for motivation was. Love you mucho, boy. Because any of us on the wrong day, if one of our loved ones, if someone came after one of our loved ones, we do something similar, right? Bro, I was doing, listen, let me, let me put it this way. The last time I was doing Name Your Price, right? We have the chat in front of us, okay? We have the chat in front of us, okay? And I saw one motherfucker go, yo, that Farley is one ugly dog. And I wanted to stop the show and be like, damn that motherfucker, find him. Get him out of here. And that is my pet. That's not my wife. That is my pet. And I was this close to stopping the show and breaking character. Right? I was this close to stopping the show and breaking character. Right? So I get it. I get it. I hope Chris Rock doesn't press charges. That would be very shitty of him. I hope these two men very quickly meet take a picture of themselves shaking hands, bury it, and I hope it doesn't overshadow the fact that Will Smith has been a consummate, consummate professional, a, a, an incredible acting talent and performing talent for the entirety of his life. And uh, unfortunately, I think it will. Unfortunately, I don't think everybody is as...
You know what the problem is? I'm not going to finish that statement. I think everybody else is bloodthirsty. I think the rest of the cons like the consumers of media this day and age, they're out for blood. And it's a way better story that Will Smith, Boy Scout of Hollywood, fell off right before winning his Academy Award. It's a better story. That he's crazy. That he's nuts. That he snapped. That he committed assault. That's a better story. Oh, yeah, wow. And that that's sucks. Cool. But that's like, that's the social media age we live in, right? No one's going to be gracious about this. Everybody's going to fucking meme it. He's going to carry it with him the rest of his fucking life. I'm a stud. And that sucks. <laughs>